meeting. And in that meeting, I see the two tremendous prophets of the Lord ministering there. But as they ministered, they stood before the Lord of all the earth, and they each spoke to the Lord of all the earth, saying, Lord, you are so holy. Lord, you are so holy. You are so mighty, and you are so holy. So they were speaking before the Lord of all the earth, standing right before the Lord. And then at that time, the Lord Jehovah, He showed me heaven open, and God the Father came out to them. He came out from heaven in His dreadful cloud, the cloud that navigated Israel, the cloud that met one of them on the mountain of the Lord, Mount Sinai, that tremendous God of Israel came out of heaven, and I see him coming to the two, his two most fierce and deadly prophets. He came out of heaven, heaven opened, and the dreadful cloud of God that navigated Israel, cloud in the day, fire in the night, came all the way from heaven to them, to minister to them, to fellowship with them, to respond to them, to be with them, to empower them. At that time, the cloud spread out to many, I see, even I see it right now, spread out onto many, many, many people that were in that meeting. I see him spreading out on their heads, visiting the meeting as he came to visit his two most glorious and most transfigured prophets in the history of the Bible. And this I see happening in Nakuru. So this upcoming meeting of the Lord in Nakuru is going to be a shocker. It's going to tremble the earth. culminating into the conversation that took place this night. And the Lord has shown me the meeting that is coming up in Nakuru. And this past night, the Lord took me to the meeting in Nakuru, and from a distance he lifted me up above the universe into the heavens. Then he asked me to look at the meeting, and I saw the two tremendous prophets of Revelation 11 ministering there. But from heaven, then the Lord showed his two servants the cloud of God the Father. He showed them God the Father coming to visit the meeting in Akuru. And then from where we were, we could see the cloud coming. I thought I saw like a mushroom, more like that kind of mushroom, going up and then opening up there like a mushroom. But what shocked me most is that then at that moment, in less than the, in less than a twinkle of an eye, higher than the speed of light by light, I don't know how many trillion fold, in a nick of time, in a flash, the two prophets were there. We were standing at the altar in Nakuru, and then all of a sudden, we realized the cloud of God, God the Father was canoping. He covered the entire altar where his two mightiest prophets were standing, and then the other age, it's amazing, because the age of it, there is so much sunlight on the other age. But where he has come by the altar, he totally enveloped, you see a shadow that covers the altar of God in a cool beloved people. But it was amazing, because the ages, the end of the canopy was sunlight. So all around the field is sunlight, but here is canopy. How awesome, beloved people. The glory, the cloud of God is coming. I have seen the Lord coming to visit his two prophets of Revelation 11. And by voice, he separated them, and then he beamed light on one of them, and by voice from heaven I saw. He said, look at Moses, the friend of God. And he was walking towards the front, so he was seeing the face. And the other one was standing at the altar, looking at this side like this. Then he said, look at Elijah the dreadful prophet of the Lord. Well, uh, beloved people, the Lord has asked me to prepare you, to prepare you for this tremendous
tremendous visitation that is coming up in Nakuru. The Lord Jehovah, the God of heaven, he has now spoken and he has decided, he completely decided and confirmed in heaven now that uh, he is coming to visit the church, the entire body of Christ from Nakuru. I have seen the glory of God. I have seen the cloud of God overshadow the altar and the other side is light. I see light. I see light within the periphery, but around the altar, you can see the shadow. It comes and overshadows the altar, so you can see sunshine on the other side by the edges of the altar like this, but he comes to the altar, and then he overshadows the altar. And then in the second conversation, again, he lifted me up into heaven, and then my shoulder touched the shoulder of God the Father, and then he showed me how he would depart from heaven. Heaven does split open, and then he departs from heaven and comes. And I see an arrow down like a pinpoint. The pinpoint is a huge glass, tremendous, probably bigger than the earth, coming from heaven. But when he comes now to Nakuru, approaching, he narrows down like a pin, as sharp as a pin, and then pinpoints and touches on his servant, the dreadful prophet of this hour, the one that is promised in the book of Malachi, and with the other ones that are both on this major mission of God, so he comes to visit them at the altar in Nakuru. Well, uh, beloved people, the Lord Jehovah has spoken with me. The Lord, the God of our Lord Jesus Christ, has spoke with me about this upcoming visitation coming to Nakuru. This is going to be a tremendous visitation. He lifted me up above the earth so I could see them meeting in Nakuru. I could also see the altar. And then when the cloud of God came, I see as if spiraling, when he's about to touch the two prophets of the Lord, spirals and pinpoint touch them. So, so God the Father is relentless on this visitation that is coming up to Nakuru. He lifted me up above the earth and took me into the realm of heaven. And I was able to see how he comes out in a massive, huge cloud. I don't know what size, probably bigger than the earth when he's coming from above. But as he comes narrow down to the meeting, he spirals, it becomes a pinpoint sharp. I see as if spiraling and then touches the two prophets of the Lord that he wants to touch. He wants to visit, he wants to set on them. I see the cloud. I see how the cloud from heaven where he lifted me into a huge cloud that comes down and then narrows down and spirals a bit and then touches. I don't know whether it's the spiraling it's because I'm seeing from above. But anyhow, the Lord visits the meeting in a very tremendous way.